Ooh. Well, I'm so excited. Hello, everybody. What? Shut your bubblegum, dumb, dumb looking ass. Fuck off. Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike and welcome back to another episode of Essential Viewing. If you're not familiar with what Essential Viewing is, it's a series that I started where I talk about my favorite people and scenes from reality TV shows. It would have to be a promise. A prom. And when you prom, what's prom? Half a promise. And today I'm talking about Slurry to Big Brother 17, Tiffany Pollard. I'm Tiffany New York Pollard and I'm best known for being on the flavor of love. <laughs> Her breath smelled like straight up shit. It smelled like a toilet full of nasty ass shit, okay? I thank you for letting me be in the house. But I wanna go whip that motherfucking bitch ass right now. Now I talked about Celebrity Big Brother 17, Gemma Collins. Hello? Just to say, I appreciate, I really appreciate the opportunity. Fuck off, Julia McKay! And that video is linked in the description and at the end of the video if you want to watch that. This season, I don't know, I think for me it's like the peak. Like, this is peak reality TV. Like, where do you go from here? I'd have to say that Tiffany Pollard is one of the pillars of not only reality TV, but also memes. Like, so many memes are based off of her. Like, the one of the person sitting in the on the bed waiting for people to hurry up. There's also the one of her saying Beyonce. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing. Yeah. Happy birthday, oh, what a, my oh. I can't believe that fucking Jenna gave me her Dolce & Gabbana's. Her name is Gemma. With Gemma? M's. Gemma. Any woman that gives me a pair of shoes that's over a thousand dollars she has a friend all the way to the end a friend all the way to the end well mm. i want my shoes back Finesse. oh bitch you want your shoes back the shoes that you yeah. i'm gonna give them to you i didn't know that oh you can no no i'm taking no, them back them oh, oh, I don't care. a friend to the end there's stones that are missing in those shoes i don't Shoes. And oh, if there's stones missing, your big feet have knocked them out. You know what, out. bitch? Your big everything knocked them stones out. You think I came over here to or have to borrow or get your shit? Me? I don't need your fucking shoes. I don't need shit from you. You crazy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's stones missing, your big feet have knocked them out. Your big everything knocked them Oh my god, she bodied her. I think Gemma is just a disgrace. She's a disgrace to humanity. The shoes that she gave me were not something that I would particularly buy for myself. They were old maiden type of shoes. Yeah, Them shoes, my darling, have to be care. on someone's honey, feet. They're very honey, beautiful. This. And she said that those shoes were meant to be worn on a beautiful woman. So if that's the case, she should have put them back on the rack and she should never even purchase them because she was unqualified. Somebody lied to her several times and told her that she was fly, hot, and sexy, and beautiful, and she's nothing like that. She's nothing of the sort. They were old maiden type shoes, and she said those shoes were meant to be worn by a beautiful woman, and if that's the case, she should have put them back on the rack. Somebody lied to her several times and told her that she was fly, Hot, sexy, and beautiful, but she's nothing like that. She's nothing of the sort. Oh my gosh, Sweetheart. Angie, can't you just be real for five seconds? First oh, of all, you've been running I'm around like you did 80 lines of coke. <laughs> you've been running around like you did 80 lines of coke. I'm a snap, I'm a snapping turtle. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. David Guest looks like he's gonna die. David's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> okay, context. That is David Bowie's ex-wife, Angie Bowie. And Angie finds out in the house that David Bowie has died. But there's also a housemate called David Guest who looks very sick. And Angie finds out David Bowie died. She tells Tiffany that David's dead. <laughs> And here we are. What the fuck is that? Oh, 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 are you serious? Okay, 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 what happened, what happened? It just happened now. Wow. Shh, cancer. Shh, shh. And you gotta please stay calm, please. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I can't keep this a secret. Oh great. She <laughs> told me that David is dead. She's, he's fine. He's, he's fine. fine. He's, he's fine. fine. Why the fuck did she hear that? The hell? She told me that David died. What? Why the fuck? <laughs> That is so fucking sick. He's here, look. Chill, chill. No, 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 chill. Chill, That's chill, chill, chill. What did oh. I do? You told her that David was dead with cancer. Yes, he is. He's in there, asleep. Oh my god, I'm Gemma Collins in that moment. Gemma's like... Chill, 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 chill. Me, whenever there's drama at work. You told her that David's dead with cancer. No. You told her that David's dead with cancer. No. You told her that David's dead with cancer. Better. He's in there, asleep. I was saying it to John. Because Megan, I felt you did nothing wrong last night. And I'm backing you 100%. She, could she talk to me for one second, though? Because she wanted to talk yeah. to me. My second nomination is Tiffany. Because I do feel like sometimes you take situations too seriously. I don't and care. Snap. I don't care. Okay. I, don't, I, I really don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. I really don't give a fuck. Me, when people comment on my Billie Eilish vocal coach video thinking that I was serious. I don't care. I don't care. I really don't give a fuck. But my first nomination is Tiff. Fuck this shit. My first nomination is for Tiffany. Don't look at me. I'm don't, not looking don't, at don't. you. Okay, well, just look that way then. Don't even fucking look at me. I won't look at you then. Tiffany will impersonate Megan. Tiffany is my girl. I like her. You know? Too bad I had to put her black ass up for you. <laughs> Leaving her crusty panties on a coffee table. <laughs> would have fucking lost it because that is some embarrassing shit who do you think put your underwear up there johnny i do too and it bothers me let the big bad wolf handle it from here crusty panties stop you know this could be my last night in the house i might as well go out with a bang literally so what you want to do guys is just become one with your ass just start wobbling that ass and then get lower in it Get lower, get comfortable. <laughs> you can start to gyrate it. Now just roll your ass. Oh no! What the fuck? Oh my god. Wait, uh uh, where's my cigarettes at? Let me out of here. I want a fucking cigarette. When I run out of cigarettes, you I'm just, not gonna smoke anymore. You swear. You I'm, swear. We don't want any swearing. It would have to be a promise. A prom. And when you prom, what's prom? Half a promise. <laughs> I prom. What's a prom? Half a promise. When you can't commit to the whole promise, just give a prom. Prom night, half promise night. Mm. I would like to get a poo sample from each one of you. <laughs> so I'm really, really going to give my best effort to take a shit so Jillian can play with it in the morning. I'm really gonna do my best effort to take a shit so Jillian can play with it in the morning. It's just giving me a, a, a humbling experience. This is a very intense moment and you're mocking it. They mocking me because y'all know that y'all should shut the fuck up and let me speak. That is probably one of my favorite quotes of Tiffany and also Big Brother. Y'all know that you should shut the fuck up and let me speak. Like, she sounds like she has a lot of spit in her mouth when she says it. Like, listen to it again. They mocking me because y'all know that y'all should shut the fuck up and let me speak. Y'all know that y'all should shut the fuck up and let me speak. You are drunk too. This is what they want to do to me. No. Look how stressed my shit is. Look how stressed my shit is. <laughs> Because there's a little shit sample in the room. Congratulations on surviving another eviction. Thank you so much. I'm on cloud nine and I'm feeling pretty fly. I'm still here. I'm that bitch. Everybody knows it. Me when less and less people are at the party and there's like starting to dwindle out and everyone's like trying to give you the hint to go home and you're like, I'm still here. I'm that bitch and everybody knows it. Scotty T must destroy her birthday cake. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so glad I watched this in the morning. It's put me in such a good mood. Honestly, an icon. 
an icon of TV, an icon of cinema. Get her on the big screen. We all need it. The new Marvel superhero, Tiffany Pollard. What are your favorite Tiffany Pollard scenes outside of Big Brother? Let me know in the comments. Um, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. I drop essential viewing episodes every like two weeks or so. And if you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. Wow, I said those in completely the wrong order. I think the next episode of Essential Viewing will be Real Housewives of Melbourne. There's, there's just so much there. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. A peace out, Bye. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.